collect our thoughts and uh, continue with the meeting. The gentleman can stay. But, excuse me, sir. Okay, so we'll get on with the rest of the presentations. We, we want to get through this evening. We want everyone to have a chance to speak who's on the speakers list. We have a lot of questions and comments from the public uh, and from uh, the local community in particular. We'd like to get to them. So let's get on with it. The next presentation then uh, will be... Um, So uh, it's uh, Robert Deleuze uh, from Porter Airlines, and then we have uh, Ansel Kapoor from No Jet Steel. So just two more presentations. Please let them have uh, a few minutes each to uh, finish their thoughts. Thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, a thank you to uh, uh, Councillors uh, Moser, Ainsley, and Crawford for hosting the evening and, uh, and for inviting me, amongst others, to come and participate. I'm pleased to tell you just a little bit about Porter uh, and our plans here this evening and to answer any questions that you might have. Go to that next slide, if you don't mind. It's now been over seven years since we launched Port Airlines at what is now known as Billy Bishop Toronto City Airport. Last year we flew over 1.5 million local passengers to and from Toronto, and I'm proud to say that recently uh, we were voted the world's best small airline by Condé Nast Traveler magazine, and that was welcome recognition for our 1,400 dedicated team members. After a global search of aircraft manufacturers, we selected Bombardier's new state-of-the-art CS100 to meet passenger requests for service to more destinations. Noise was a primary consideration for the introduction of any new aircraft at Billy Bishop. That was uppermost in our minds when we chose Bombardier's Q400 as the original aircraft in our fleet. The Q400 is known for its quiet sound profile and the latest ground and flight testing has proven that the CS100 is comparably quiet to the uh, Q400 within one decibel on average, which is highlighted in the city report. Based on this, the aircraft will meet the uh, airport's noise restrictions, certainly the toughest restrictions in North America and we believe the world. When the jet ban was imposed over 30 years ago, it was impossible to predict the changes that would occur in the world of aircraft technology. Bombardier and Pratt & Whitney, and the geared turbofan engine that's produced by uh, Pratt & Whitney, have reinvented this category with an airplane that is up to four times quieter than any similar jet aircraft. The CS-100 is also revolutionary in terms of environmental performance using less fuel per seat than many modern compact cars. It virtually eliminates the production of unburned hydrocarbons over 99% lower per flight and has a 93.5% reduction in particulate matter compared to other jets. The city report indicates that the airport is a relatively small contributor to local air and sound quality. The lake shore...
Thank you. The Lakeshore and Gardner are closer to most uh, residents and contribute substantially more to sound and air quality. The CS100 really is the perfect choice for this airport and surrounding communities with important measures for sound and emissions actually improving with its introduction. There is also no forecast increase to health care costs. <laughs> Thank you. Our passengers asked us to fly to places like Western Canada, California, and Florida, so we listened to them and considered how we might take them there, knowing that there is a jet van at the airport. Our customers told us they appreciate Porter's premium service to our existing 19 destinations. They told us they enjoy our reasonably priced fares, it makes travel much more affordable, and they told us that Billy Bishop Toronto City Airport helps to make their travel experience very convenient. It is common to see base fare reductions of 60% or more when Porter announces that we are entering a new market, boosting both business and leisure travel. The city's report indicates that this proposal will increase local economic development by some $250 million each year and help generate another 2,000 jobs, 1,000 of those at Porter alone. Another important topic is flight plans. Porter's flights are directed away from the city 90% of the time. The only exception is a small number of departures to northern destinations to travel over Scarborough, typically at an altitude of at least 4,000 feet and not less than 3,000 feet. In some instances, prevailing winds result in, those, in these flights being closer to heights of 10,000 feet, and that happens on about two-thirds of the time on average uh, when they do cross over the shoreline heading north to places like Sudbury, Timmins, Sault Ste. Marie, and Thunder Bay. To be clear, though, there are no planned arrivals that actually come down over the city and specifically over Scarborough. Only departures, uh, as, uh, as, as, as I've mentioned. Most, if not all, CS100 routes will not use flight plans over Scarborough. These destinations are typically to the south, away from the city. The CS100 will also depart at altitudes that are no lower and potentially higher than the Q400. Thank you again for attending this evening. I'm happy to do some questions. Now we're ready.